A very good evening and I'm Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. See the soul the truth lies within and I'm wishing you a very blessed happy new year. Actually whenever we open our eyes the next day every morning is like a happy new day and a happy new year from that day onwards. But still as per the calendar this is 31st of December so wishing you a happy new year and may you bring about a lot of laurels in your family. May you be on the righteous path. May you stay healthy, happy and belong to godly path so that your karmas are lighter and they always benefit somebody in their life. So, what does Baba have to say on this New Year's Eve? Let's find out that. Baba says on the heading, May you become an embodiment of power. Power could be so many. There are eight powers. There could be so many of them more. But the main eight powers, let me name a, name a few. Power to tolerate, power to face, power to accept, power to accommodate with any kind of person with different habits. And then power to assess a situation, power to discern about that situation, power to decide what is the right karma to do in that situation. Or with that person there's so many different powers which we get through meditation so Baba says may you become an embodiment of power and stay beyond any influence of the company of Maya on the basis of following elevated directions whose elevated directions God's elevated directions let's get into the details now there is a complaint from the children those who have taken the seven days course those who have started meditating when they see what God wants us to see, when God tells us that the end of days are very near, my child become pure, change your habits, your living habits, your thinking habits, your eating habits, your your lifestyle habits, change them, don't let them be influenced by the Iron Age world or Kali Yuga. Over a period of time, slowly and steadily transform them, make your nature different, make your habits different, make your character different so that I can give you a passport to enter the gates of heaven on this very earth. Now, when we get this knowledge, when our eyes are open, the third eyes are open, the two physical eyes which see this old world and we used to get attracted by the old world is no longer very attractive to us after taking this knowledge. We realize the truth. We see the world through our third eye of knowledge which God has given us. Then what happens? Some children, they complain. What do they complain? which is that their relatives do not listen to them. So God says that every child's time will come on its own time. I have chosen you. You have done enough of worship in many births and have called out for my mercy. You have called out in many, many births during your worshiping hours. You used to say, oh God, please come and take away our sins, take away our impurity, take away our unhappiness you have prayed in so many different births that your turn has come but maybe your own family members their turn hasn't come maybe for some in even in this birth their turn hasn't come so why do you complain so what do you complain about God says you say relatives don't listen to you so we change our habits of food we become a vegetarian we change our sleeping waking up habits we change our thinking habits we talk less we don't feel that the worldly enjoyment is the real form of enjoyment throwing money to buy things or overspending or or trying to be overjoyous outwardly doesn't seem to be the real happiness because happiness doesn't need to be shown outside so when we do that the family members complain that you have become like this you have changed so much sometimes taunts are thrown at you so God says then you children complain about that that your family members don't listen to you. They don't accept this knowledge. Then what do you do? So they do not have good they do not have good company. You say that to God, God, I don't have a good company. How can I meditate in such a situation, in such an environment? How can I live in an environment where everybody is eating non veg and I have become a vegetarian? Or I have left garlic and onion and everybody else is eating the same thing. How can I live? It's becoming difficult for me. So God says, God says that is a test. Is it so easy to transition from hell to heaven? Well, your habits, your eating habits, everything has to change. It has to match as per what they is to eat, what they is to do, how they is to think, how they is to walk. 
talk, hear, re relate to others in the golden age or heaven on earth. So, will the heavenly people be non-vegetarian? Will the heavenly people be gossipers? Will the heavenly people be jealous and have ego and jealousy and ego and, and lust and anger in them? Think about it. So, when I ask you to leave all these things and you try to leave and when your own family members don't accept you or accept the change in you, you start complaining. So, God says, what do you need to do then? Baba says, they cannot become powerful if they keep on complaining. However, you are blessed as being an embodiment of knowledge. God says, I have given you the knowledge. You know that everybody's time will come. They'll At the end, they'll realize this knowledge. They'll realize that I have come on earth. They cannot see because for them, seeing is believing. So, God cannot be seen. A soul cannot be seen. So, Supreme Soul, how can you see the soul? He can only be understood through knowledge and only when He blesses you with that insight of this deeper knowledge. So, when you understand this knowledge, when you have all the knowledge of the three aspects of time, then why do you complain that they don't understand this knowledge? So, then God says, therefore, make your stage unshakable on the basis of following elevated directions of God. Observe each one's part as a detached observer, whether it's your husband, wife, brother, sister, father, mother, uncle, aunt. Observe their part as a detached observer. Don't be, don't come into feelings or don't be mood off when you see them taunting or when they don't accept your knowledge or when they laugh about it. Don't. Just be detached observer. Don't have any bad feelings for them. Don't have any bad thoughts towards them. That is what it means to be a detached observer. Remain stable playing your satuguni part. But you play your good part. You don't become jealous or angry or egoistic or, or reply back and all. Don't do that. You play your own satuguni part. Even if they're playing the tamaguni part. Tamaguni means degraded way of talking or thinking. Constantly stay in the father's company and you will not be colored by any color of the company of Tamagoni souls. Tamagoni means God says all the souls who are following the dictates of the Iron Age or, the, or this Kalyugi world, the way of thinking, the way of talking, the way of sitting, eating, sleeping, everything is totally degraded in this world today. So God says that is known as Tamagoni. So God is trying to make a Satagoni. Satagoni means truth fully living. Tamagoni means untruthful living. So, how do you do that? How do you change from Tamagoni to Satagoni? It's not just about changing your eating habits. It's even about thinking. Your thinking can be Tamagoni and you can change your thinking to Satagoni with the help of God's dictates. And those dictates is what we learn at Brahma Kumaris. So, I hope during this New Year's Eve you make a resolution or you think about joining the meditation, Rajyuka meditation and visiting the Brahma Kumari's Godly Switch University somewhere in your own city. Have a blessed good night and Happy New Year again. Om Shanti.